Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I start, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers and everybody that watches my videos. Now today I'm going to create an art journal page. To create the background for my page, I'm going to use alcohol inks and the paper I'm using is gloss photo paper and it's an A4 size sheet. Now um, some of the alcohol inks that I'm using are shimmer inks, some are metallic, I think there's one pearl one in there. All of the products that I'm going to use that I can find a link to I will put in the description box below. Now these um, alcohol inks are paper mill brand and I find that they're great colours and they are really reasonably priced. So what I'm going to do is just add the alcohol inks to my paper. I've put down a, a big pool of um, blending solution first. Now I'm just adding the colour and I'm just spreading that around, just dropping it here and there. Then I'm going to tilt my paper back and forward and all over the place to get a coverage of the whole thing. And then once I've got that, I'll then add more colour in drips and drops um, to get the colour where I want it. So I'll put this on fast forward while I'm adding the colour and you can just watch the process. It, I'll put it on fast forward so it won't take that long. So now I have a background coverage. I'm going to just add drops of colour to add some interest to it. Now the colours I've used are pearl, which is a white, um, sapphire, citrus, there's lime green shimmer, gold metallic, brass shimmer, lemon yellow shimmer and rolling waters metallic. Now I set that aside to dry overnight and this is what I have now. So I'm going to use my stays on uh, jet black ink and a stamp that I don't know the brand or the name of and I'm just going to stamp randomly on the background. I'm going to do that with this stamp and I'm also going to use Uniquely Creative's um, stamp that's called Bubble Wrap Numbers. I'm not looking for a perfect image here, I'm just looking for a bit of noise in the background. I don't want it too dark, I'm trying to keep the tone of this page light. So I end up taking it off the block and just using it with my fingers. I do the same with the um, Uniquely Creative stamp. Now to add a little bit of texture to the background I'm going to use my modelling paste and my palette knife and put some modelling paste through a stencil. Now this is a Kayser Craft stencil, I don't know the name of it, it comes like a 12 by 12 with four different patterns in it and you cut them up, well I cut them up. So I'm going to just use that to add some stenciling, some white modelling paste randomly on the whole page. Now the actual size of the page that I'm going to put into my journal, which is a ring bound handmade journal, I just cut the pages to size and then join them all together with uh, rings, four rings, um, is only going to be eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters so there will be an off cut from this so I'm not too fussed about how everything works out because I know I'm going to cut some of it off anyway but I'm just applying the paste through the stencil. I like a nice thick build up of the paste and um, I like to be able to feel it when when you touch the page so that's what I'm trying to achieve here a bit of texture. Okay so my metalling paste is dry now and I don't want it to be so stark white so I'm going to use um, my distress ink in broken china and a domed blending tool and I'm going to just blend over the top of that white so that it just takes the whiteness off and gives it a pale blue which blends in to the colours in the background. Now that it doesn't make them disappear altogether but it just tones them down so they're not right in your face. So I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing, I'm going to uh, turn the camera off and finish this off off screen and I'll come back to you when it's finished. So now I've trimmed it down so that it's eight and three quarters wide by eight and a quarter high 
and I've used my um, I'm going to use my corner rounder to round all the corners I've also backed it onto a piece of white cardstock because that you know that photo paper is not that sturdy and I want it to be able to you know stand the test of time so now my page is ready to do my embellishing another reason for putting that white cardstock on the back is I like to write the products that I've used on the page on the back of it now I'm going to start on creating the embellishments for my page I'm using this big stamp block that I've had for over 20 years I think I'm going to stamp and heat emboss that flower I'm using my VersaFine um, Onyx Black ink to do the stamping. VersaFine inks give a very clear and dark impression when you use them on a stamp. So it's one of my favourite ways to stamp and heat emboss something. So I'm going to stamp it with my VersaFine Jet Black ink. Then I'm going to heat emboss it with some super fine clear embossing powder and I'm going to create three of these flowers then I'm going to use my cutter B scissors and fussy cut each of those out now once again I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing I'm sure you know how to fussy cut by now so I'll come back to you when I've got them completely cut out I wanted some leaves to go with my flowers and I've got this paper artsy stamp but I can't remember the name of the set that it comes from and I tried to find it on the internet and I couldn't find it so I can't tell you what the name of this stamp set is but I know it's paper artsy and I've done the same thing I've stamped and heat embossed some leaves I've done six in total and I'm going to use them to add to my flower cluster once I'm happy with the placement of my flowers and leaves, I'm going to ink around the edge of everything using my black Versa Colour ink cube. And that just gives the pieces a bit of definition, helps them stand out from the background a little. And then I'm going to use my art glitter glue to attach these pieces to my page. Now, Generally, I would use um, matte medium, but I seem to be leaning a lot more towards uh, glitter glue these days for just about everything. I find that it works really well, and um, you don't have to worry about anything moving. I don't think that the um, alcohol inks would move at all anyway, but the distress ink on the texture paste probably would, so... I'm not going to risk it, I'm going to go with the art glitter glue to attach my embellishments to my page. I like to add some shading to my embellishments that I put on a page so that it looks like they're actually sitting in the page, not just plonked on top. And to do that this time, I'm going to use my Stabilo All Pencil and my water brush. So you simply draw around the outer perimeter of your embellishment and then with the pencil and then use your water brush to sort of blend that in. The um, Stabilo pencil is water soluble so it helps you know it sort of blends in puts that little bit of shadow in there that makes your flowers or leaves or whatever it is that you're adding to your page actually look like it belongs on there. Now my problem when I'm doing art journaling is generally I get too heavy handed and instead of having a nice light page I always end up with a dark page so in this particular case I am taking it very easy with the shading because I don't want it to come out too far I just want it to be there and stay in the background so I'm going to go around the whole um, set of embellishments in exactly this way and when I've finished that I'll be back to you now as I said my aim with this page is to keep it light and bright so I wanted to add some sort of detail to the flowers but I didn't want to add colour or too much colour so I've got out my Nouveau drops they're the Nouveau glitter drops and they're called white blizzard and I have watered them down slightly with water because as I said I don't want it too thick but I just want something on there 
and the glitter in this um, in these drops is sort of a greeny tone so or green and goldy tone so it blends in nicely with the background so I'm just going to use a soft brush and add that watered down Nuvo drops to each of the flowers I know that you can really see that on the camera through the camera but it is there in real life it's not overpowering but it's just there in the background now for the centers of the flowers I'm going to use this pops of color similar sorts of things to uh, Nuvo drops and you know the other ones that you get can't remember the name of them now Spriggles or what are they called um, kindy glitz and all of that sort of thing but this one's called pops of color and it is glitter champagne now I'm going to add that to the center of my flowers I'm using the same brush which I have washed out of course and I'm once again I'm not going for an overpowering amount of gold this uh, has like a clear background with the gold glitter in it so it's not overpowering it's not solid and um, I think it suits very well. Now, I'm sorry about the glare. Um, because the background has got a lot of metallic in it and it is beautiful in real life. I mean, the glimmer in that is fantastic. Um, it does reflect a bit with the lights when I'm um, filming. So I hope it's not too bright for you. But um, yeah, I'm going to do the centers of the flowers and then I'll be back. For the final touch for my page, I always like a border. I don't know why that is. I think it just gives it that finished look. So I'm using these two. I've got two uh, fine liner bottles. One's like a tall, slim pencil type and the other's a short, fat little bottle. And I'm going to um, just do a scribbly border around the outside of my page. Now, inside of the bottles is some watered down acrylic paint. I like to use acrylic paint because once it dries it's permanent and if you want to put something over the top well then you can go ahead to your heart's content. So what I'm going to do or what I'm planning on doing is um, a real scribbly sort of border with both the white and the black mixed in together but so they're going over the top of each other but they're not mixed in together make it grey. They're both individual still black and white. So that will be the end of my video for today. Um, I've really enjoyed this. As I said, the last um, art journal page I made about, I well, don't know, probably a week or two ago. I hadn't made one for over 12 months before that, so I seem to have got the bug back. And uh, once again, I've really enjoyed creating this page and I've, I'm really happy that I've managed to keep it light and not overdo it and make it heavy and dark like I'm mostly do so yeah thank you for joining me here today and um, thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel I really appreciate it um, if you're not already a subscriber I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel I've been doing this for a couple of years now and it's a slow process but enjoyable so uh, yeah thank you for joining me and I hope you can join me when I post my next video Okay, bye.